I'm at CES with Phil McKinney and there is so much here that is just being absolutely overhyped. I mean, tablets, tablets, and more tablets. 3D. I mean, we talked about 3D four years ago. Is it ever going to be see this mass adoption that they've been uh, talking about forever? I don't think so. No. <laughs> and then the Ultrabooks. I mean, it's all about the Ultrabooks. Mm -hmm. So what is it that is not being talked about that we can show people? Something that we haven't seen before. Well, we're going to show three different technologies that are going to be coming out over the next 12 to 24 months. These are not products that were announced that are available for immediate shipment, but they're really cool innovations that are going to open up consumer access to technologies that have just never been considered before. Good. I like looking forward to things. Let's go. Let's go. So this is one of the first companies I wanted to show you. It's a concept called MetaWatch. It's really about how do you extend the information that's having on the devices you carry with you, but you carry it as a wearables. Mm -hmm. For this year, wearables are going to become the hot thing. It's, it's really that fourth device that you carry, not just your notebooks or your mobile phones or your slates and tablets, but the ability to have that information available to you all the time. So in this case, it's a smartwatch that actually connects to your mobile phone and connects to other applications. In this case, it's integrating a whole set of applications uh, to display the information so that you have it available to you at the time. It's funny, once phones actually became smart, fewer people started wearing watches. And then the watch companies started saying, hey, you know what, we gotta get smarter as well. <laughs> and now watches are becoming the in thing and getting more and more popular. Yeah. And this is no exception. This is no exception. And, and what's interesting is, is this is actually a development platform that's being developed and made available to developers. There's thousands of these watches that, that Metal Watch has made available such that development, developers can create unique applications, one being using the, the, the sensors in it to detect seizures for people who oh, suffer wow. from epilepsy to games in the case of this example. So you carry the watch on your wrist, as you walk into geolocation areas like stores, you get points automatically credited to your account. Oh, wow. So there's a you whole wide- You a wide $50 gift certificate at Best Buy. Right, or you, know, you get $2 off your latte at Starbucks. And the key here though is, is the ability to integrate all of these together and create a platform that really just makes it really simple. So Kim, this is Toby. This is a technology that's really focused on how to use alternative ways of interacting with your computer. In this case, it's using eye tracking. Now, eye tracking has been around for a while for accessibility technologies for people with special needs, but in this case, it's being brought forward in the consumer space. You can think about it as an alternative to using your touchpad, but also having applications to control your smart TVs. No longer do you have to worry about pointing just by simply looking at the image and selecting it. It actually automatically scrolls and changes its position, and you actually can drive the interaction. We're all waiting for you know what's next. What is going to go beyond the, the keyboard and the mouse, even the, the touchpad? I mean, you have some voice recognition technologies, but when are we going to see the voice and even this eye recognition technology actually, you know, be available in a, in a, on a mass market basis? Well, everybody's been experimenting. Voice recognition's been around for decades, but the accuracy isn't there. In this case, it's not so much that you've got to overcome an accuracy problem. It's naturally. You're looking at the screen and your attention is gazed into a certain area. In this case, from this company, this technology, think of it about 24 months out from a commercial product being available on the shelf. Okay, so on to our final product. <laughs> so, Kim, one of the biggest challenges that consumers are facing today is really this loss of uh, credit card information. Dynamics is a new company that has developed really some inter very interesting technologies around how do you take a credit card and make it smart. Smart from the standpoint of managing all of your credit card information. In this case, you have a single card that actually has both of your information, your normal credit card and let's say your debit card. Simply by pressing the button, that becomes the credit card that's active. The mag stripe is dynamically written at the time you press the button. So if you lay this card down, the mag stripe goes back to zero. But now I can dynamically change it and make it be valid for other cards. So this actually reduces the number of cards. Wow. But what's more interesting though, is this ability to have these dynamic cards. So in this case, I have a credit card that's smart and, and, and set up that gives me my credit card information. But by simply toggling a key, I now get a one-time credit card number that I can use for online transactions. In this case, now I can make a transaction online, and when I put that credit card information in, if that company somehow loses that information or it gets stolen, I don't have they to don't worry. They don't have all of your They don't have that information. You don't care. It has no impact on your credit card process. In this case, they've developed technologies 
and capabilities to build all this into the same thickness as a normal credit card. So it fits in and it has all the flex that you needed from the standpoint of the durability. So who's actually going to be providing these cards? Are these going to come from our credit card company? So they're the ones that have to actually adopt them first? Right. So this is a case where the credit card companies are trialing these today from, from Dynamics. And from the standpoint of, for them, it's about securing that transaction, but also changing the way you use your credit card. In this case, you have a credit card that's not only your normal regular credit card, but also acts as your rewards. So now, rather than you going online and buying something from the rewards, now you can go out to any store that accepts, let's say, Visa or MasterCard, hit the rewards button, swipe it, and you can buy your items right from your rewards list without having to go through any special process. And it also has a medical application. Yes, in this case, with LifeCode, one of the biggest challenges is getting access to your private information when, you, when you're injured or hurt. In this case, you have this in your wallet, and by simply pressing the on key, it gives a one-time use code password that the people in the ambulance can use, log in, and instantly get access to your medical information in a medical emergency.